Hello, friends. Did you know that your morning routine can completely impact your high blood pressure, also known as hypertension? Through the practice of lifestyle medicine, many physicians are actually seeing and learning, this is an evidence-based approach, by the way, um, are learning that they're quite capable of supporting lifestyle illnesses, such as high blood pressure. It is a lifestyle disease with more than just medication, and in some cases, completely reverse the condition. There are certain lifestyle approaches that people can take at home that will support a healthy blood pressure, even when you're on medication or you, are, you have an elevated blood pressure. Now, quick disclaimer that it's so important whenever you go on a health journey of any type to let your physician know what your intention is. Physicians do like to pay attention. They do like to know if they need to change or address med um, medication changes, and that is something to always remember. So any, any kind of health advice that we give is always given with the intent that you are sharing this knowledge with your family physician if you are going on this journey. Our current approach to treating high blood pressure or hypertension is to give generally um, high blood pressure medication. These could be statins, these could be many different um, approaches, it just depends. And what often isn't addressed is the lifestyle and which is the underlying root cause. Now, should you choose not to do any of the actions that I'm about to share, this beautiful morning routine that's very simple to do and just as simple not to do, what would be the outcome? So if we look at statistics and progression of high blood pressure illnesses, often it actually starts to meld into more than one condition, which end up, ends up having a title of metabolic, condition, uh, metabolic disease, which is usually a combination of high blood pressure, a high BMI, and diabetes. So if you have all of those markers, you then progress to having metabolic illness or disease. And so this is something that if you currently only have high blood pressure, you could be doing these things at home to help support you. So when we think about this no brainer approach to um, supporting ourselves, sometimes it's just about just the knowledge is lacking. So I hope that in this video, you get the knowledge that you need, you get the motivation, the inspiration to take action on what I'm about to share. So who am I? My name is Natalie Pelto and I am the co-founder of Blue Life Rx. I have a certificate in lifestyle medicine from Well Cornell with many other nutritional certifications that are very helpful when, when talking about illnesses and condition. I also have 21 years of background in frontline healthcare in CAT scan, bone mineral density, x-ray, which means that looking inside of the human body to uh, pathophysiology and um, illnesses and chronic illnesses is something I did for a very, very, very long time before transitioning full-time into um, nutrition and lifestyle. And so I have a lot of experience in this area, and I hope that you guys enjoy this beautiful, beautiful story I'm about to tell you that will inspire you guys to move forward, especially in the high blood pressure area. So my father actually had, has high blood pressure, not had, has. And what's really interesting about it is my father was actually on two medications for high blood pressure. And in some ways he really did inspire me to talk about this subject because over the span of a few years and elevating his uh, physical activity, he was able to remove not just one, but both of his medications for a little bit. Then he had a knee injury and unfortunately he was not able to walk his two, two to five kilometers every day anymore and he had to have one return. This is the importance of how lifestyle has to be consistent. The interesting component of this story though with my dad is that my dad doesn't really want to change his eating habits and that is again completely a personal choice but when you look at lifestyle medicine it actually is a beautiful wrapped up packages of six pillars of actions that can help those chronic illnesses. And so if you're only doing one, you may get some pretty powerful results, but if, you're, if you do them all, you get them and generally you get them faster. And truthfully, I know that most people who are on high blood pressure medication wish that they weren't. And because it's a lifestyle disease, this is an option that we can actually discuss with our physicians while we're doing all of these lifestyle medicine pillars. 
Now, I'm not gonna give you guys all of the pillars. It gets a little overwhelming, but in your morning routine, I'm going to give you three amazing tips to help control and mitigate that high blood pressure in, um, in those three tips in the morning. Tip number one is to make sure that when you wake, you drink a big glass of water. Staying hydrated and using nutrition as a foundation to um, high blood pressure is a huge component. So waking up to have a huge glass of water before you start your coffee routine or you start all of these other um, sometimes good or bad habits <laughs> that we have in the morning is going to be extremely beneficial for your high blood pressure and staying hydrated throughout the entire day. Some people don't even notice how much impact this has, but it really, really does. 